Hey, what's up guys? It is Rob and I am back with a brand new top 10 video. This is actually a response to HorrorFan34, my good buddy Thomas. He came up with a video idea to do his top 10 favorite movie endings. And I thought that was brilliant. Um, I know I talked about shocking endings before, but this is basically just your favorite ending to a movie. And honestly, I had trouble with this list. I have... <laughs> A ton. I wrote them down here. Um, I picked out my top 10, but I also have some honorable mentions. So for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the ending a little bit. Okay, there's going to be spoilers. Um, so I just want to pre-warn you, uh, you know, about it. Because I don't know how else to do it. I, I need to talk about why these films are my favorite when it comes to the ending. So, um, let's go over my honorable mentions first. Here we have Ewoks uh, Adventures, the Battle for Endor. Now, I watched that when I was younger, and I love the ending to that movie. Even today, Wilford Brimley, who just passed away, rest in peace, he was excellent in the movie. And it was a little sad. Um, it was kind of like E.T. in a way. It was, it was just like it, uh, in fact. Because Wilford Brimley uh, and the kid leave the planet of Endor after being there for a long time. Um, and they say goodbye to the Ewoks and stuff, but there's a really cool battle in the third act, which is really awesome. So Battle for Endor is definitely one that I consider to have a, you know, awesome ending. Above the Rim is another one where um, uh, Dwayne Martin, he, you know, wants to go to college and he ends up getting a scholarship um, but, you know, the third act, there's this really fun, entertaining basketball game that he kind of stands up for himself because this this um, gang is pushing him around, but he decides he's not going to take it. He's going to just stand up for himself and, uh, you know, they're not going to bribe him or anything or blackmail him. So really, really good ending to that movie. Another one is A League of Their Own. Um, this has kind of a sad ending, too, but... You know, the third act, there's a baseball game between Lori Petty and Gina Davis because they're sisters and they're going against each other. And um, I love the ending where they're all grown up and they're kind of old and they go to the museum. And there's just a really, there's really good moments there. Uh, it's a really good movie, by the way. Another one is October Sky, about, you know, these kids who make rockets. And they go to the science fair, they win the science fair, and the ending is kind of sad, too, where Jake Gyllenhaal's dad shows up, and he gets to shoot off the last rocket that they that they do. And it's kind of like a father and son moment. That's a really, really um, great ending. It kind of makes me tear up. Another one is What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. Um, a fantastic ending where he dies, he goes to heaven. But his wife kills herself and she goes to hell. So he has to go to hell to bring her back to heaven. No one's ever done that before. Um, stunning visuals and it's it's kind of sad as well. But I just love the ending to this movie. Fantastic. Um, another one is The Mist. Now, this is kind of a shocking ending. But I do like it because it really makes you think. You know, if he would have waited like five seconds more after he kills everybody... Um, and then help shows up, he would have been fine. But how could you really know? They thought they were going to die out there. Um, it's an ending that I like because it has balls. It really does. Another one is Labor Day with Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin. Um, this is a fantastic movie. You know, Josh Brolin is on the run from the cops because of an accident that happened. You know, he went to, to, to jail for it. Um, but he escaped, and he meets her with her son. Um, and she's single with her son. And they end, up, they, end up, you know, they end up falling in love. They say this is kind of like The Notebook. This is way better than The Notebook. Um, the ending is kind of sad, uh, but... It is so good. It is so well written. It is. It's, it, it is. It's very, very good. If you haven't seen Labor Day, check it out. Another one is Drag Me to Hell. Um, I love the ending where she gets drugged down. You know, the, the demon comes up and it happens on a subway track, which is interesting. And it happens out of nowhere. Like, you just don't even understand what's going on. Then all of a sudden, you know, you think she's rid of the curse and then that happens. That was a fantastic ending. 
Another one is Lock Up with Stallone, a great ending of what he goes through in prison the third act when he tries to escape. And then, you know, he gets the warden, he captures him, and, and he basically stands off with the police. But then, um, you know, the warden was bad, so he ends up, uh, you know, getting released from prison. Another satisfying ending is Furious 7. Um, I thought this was a great end of the series, but it's not the end of the series because we got Fate of the Furious and then, and then Furious 9 or whatever. Um, this was a good send-off to Paul Walker. This is another one that kind of makes me tear up at the end when Vin Diesel and him are driving separate ways, and it's like he's driving off into heaven. Um, it's hard to watch, but it's, it's so good. It's a good ending. Another one is Breakfast Club. This has one of the most memorable endings. Uh, you know, all these kids go to detention but then they're different but they're the same like they're different like you you got the 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 um jock you got the criminal you know you got the princess girl the stuck up girl um but you find out that they're all like they all have issues and they all come together at the end of the movie uh very very awesome uh, another one is get out i believe thomas mentioned this um this has a great ending where um you know the guy gets out basically he gets he held captive to get the brain surgery and he basically outsmarts this family and you know goes after him uh for revenge at the end return of living dead 3 has a great ending kind of a romeo and juliet thing um you know the, the um what's her name mindy clark you know she's a zombie and her boyfriend does anything possible to protect her and ends up you know uh, putting her in this they go into this uh, station where they're both gonna die and he ends up dying with her because He's not gonna leave her side because she's already dead. She's a zombie, but he's not so he's going he just stays with her It's a very very it, it is kind of sad in a way Another one my favorite horror movie of all time the shining great ending. I think you know about this already um, the whole third act where Jack Nicholson is chasing Danny um, great, great one. Another one is Teen Wolf. I like this ending because the third act is a great basketball game where Michael J. Fox doesn't turn into the wolf. He actually stays as Michael J. Fox. The whole point of turning the wolf is to be not like everyone else. He wants to be different. He wants to be not, not a, um, not a loser and, uh, fumble everything all the time and trip and be clumsy. When he's the wolf, he's, he's, you know he's not that but in this movie it just kind of shows you that you don't need to be um di you don't need to be different you can be uh yourself is what what the message is and i do like the third act it's just a, it's a great basketball great uh game and a great ending another great ending is the goonies they're you know the whole getting away from the fratellis the pirate ship reveal and then they're all sitting on the rocks and you see one-eyed willie's ship in the sunset and on the in the water um a fantastic ending i, I always love that one um another one is the fan this is a crazy ending um robert de niro i think this is one of his best performances even like since cape fear but you know he stands out in the baseball field with a knife and he's getting ready to to throw a knife at at wesley snipes after kidnapping his son he's like now do you care um really intense film it really is i i love the fan another one is stranded i haven't talked about this movie enough but the ending where they're on mars and they discover this place where they can actually breathe air because they're rationing their air they're rationing their food um they find this place on mars where they don't need to wear a helmet um and they discover this alien life it's a fan i'm gonna actually review this movie um in depth another one is shot i i guarantee you've never heard of this film um you know this photographer likes to take pictures and he goes down to the hood and he meets this kid who likes photography but this kid's brother is in a gang and this gang basically doesn't like this photographer guy um and they go after him at the end it's a very very good ending very sad but it's very very well done another one is an officer and a gentleman uh, this has one of those uh roman i guess romantic endings but i don't really consider it that i think it's um you know, a couple that was together and then they kind of fell apart because one's going after his his career and the other one's, you know, kind of staying put. But then he says, screw it, I'm going to bring her with me. 
Um, at the end, Richard Gere basically goes into the factory, he gets Deborah Winger, he picks her up, and he carries her out of the factory, basically saying, you're not working this dead-end job anymore, you're coming with me. Uh, I'm a naval aviator, we're going to live our life traveling the world, and that's what we're going to do. It is a great movie. This is fantastic. Another one is Last Samurai. I talked about this a lot. Love the ending to this with a with a big war, um, and then he finally finds peace. Uh, very very good. Another one is Misery. Fantastic ending there, where Paul Sheldon is, you know, on his last leg. Basically, he's writing to save his life, and he says he finally has enough. He just he hits Kathy Bates with a a typewriter and basically even though he can't walk he just tries to tackle her and fight her even though she shoots him um he tries to get out and i i, I love it it's a great movie the last honorable mention is the principal love the third act of this where this gang basically takes on james belushi and lou gossett jr in this school and he has to basically stop this gang there's no cops coming or nothing it's just them two versus this gang very very good all right so now Let's start with my top 10, okay? Number 10 is The Lion King. This had a very satisfying ending. But I love the whole story. The whole story is great. Um, and, the, you know, the thing, this is not the... I'm not talking about... I just held this up because it's... Um, this is not the cartoon. This is the live action one. But I just didn't want to get the cartoon. I actually can't. It's under all these... Um, stacks of movies so i'm just going to hold this up i'm talking about the cartoon the animated one not the live action but i just thought i'd hold this up anyway yeah the animated one is great um i love the ending to that where simba basically redeems himself he takes over the kingdom by fighting scar and he's not taking anyone's crap he's he doesn't care he's gonna take his father's um place and I love that story and it's a great ending and it is I would say it's an it's an ending that's you kind of tear up you really do all right so that's number 10 number nine is the sister act movies I, I just put one and two I love the endings to the these movies um, a great performance by Whoopi Goldberg with the, the nuns who sing in the choir and stuff it's a big third act for both of these movies um, where they put on a show. I love it. I, I grew up with these movies, and they're just some of my favorites. I probably like the first one a little bit more. Coming in at number eight is First Blood. This has a fantastic ending. I mean, the third act, you know, basically Stallone's taking on the whole police force. He goes into the town, and he, he scares the sheriff, you know, shitless. He's, he's basically pissing his pants. But I love the whole conversation with him. Um, I, I just love the whole conversation with uh, with him and the colonel um, where he talks about his buddies and stuff like that. He's like, nothing is over! You don't just turn it off! Um, really, really great dialogue, and I just I love the ending to the movie. Number seven is Whiplash. Fantastic movie right here. This has an unbelievable ending. Uh, Miles Teller on the drums. I mean, J.K. Simmons is a real ass. I mean, he's a mean teacher, and he basically, at the end of this movie, you know, he hires, or he basically tells Miles Teller to come back onto the band. He goes onto the band, and, and, and J.K. Simmons basically humiliates him on stage in front of everybody, but then Miles Teller's like, screw it. I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to show him. So then you see him come back on the drums, and he just starts doing all this crazy stuff, and J.K. Simmons is, like, blown away by it. Like, he's just like, oh my god, like, this kid does have it. Satisfying ending right here. It's a satisfying movie. I love this movie. Okay, number uh, six is Ghost. I, uh, another sad ending, but satisfying. Um, Patrick Swayze's no longer with us, you know, and, you know, seeing this movie now that he's gone, it's just it just makes you think, like, you know, um, there's some truth behind it, but everyone's performance was great. Um, I just, I really dig the ending. And it's the third act where he tries to take down the criminals and then they get dragged to hell, basically. But then he goes to heaven. Uh, really, really awesome. I'm just going to hold this up for number five. Now we're on my top five. I'm going to say Rocky Balboa, the sixth film. I think the sixth film ended the series 
perfectly, and a lot of people will agree with me. The sixth film ended the Rocky movies indefinitely. I mean, it is the, the way it ended. Rocky Six was a or Rocky Balboa was a sad movie. But the way it ended, I felt like there was closure to the character. I felt like that was it, like the chapter ended. Even though Creed started it up again, Creed was sort of a side story, but it does continue the Rocky universe. I still think Rocky Balboa is the satisfying ending. Coming in at number four is Jaws. Um, this was a great, great ending, the whole third act. When the boat's going down, Quint gets eaten, Brody's in the water, and he basically is trying to hang on for dear life while the shark is coming at him and he, the shark eats the tank and he's just like smile you son of a bitch and then blows him up one of the greatest endings ever made i'm sorry it is awesome coming in at number three is the karate kid 2 now i didn't pick karate kid 1 i think karate kid 2 has a more satisfying ending and here's why i love the fight the whole third act the, the fight with him and chosen which is they're fighting to the death but Daniel ends up um, sparing his life and saves Kumiko. But the way it ends, he gives her a hug and he looks at Miyagi. And, and it's just so good. It's a great ending. It's like he, he saved her, but he also, you know, um, he took back his honor, basically. And um, instead of killing Chosen, which is probably what he would have done... Um, he spared his life because he's a good person. He would never do that. I just, I love the meaning. I love the ending to the Karate Kid Part 2. All right, coming in up at number two is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Freaking love the ending to this. The whole fight with the T-1000, you know, and then the whole sad part where Arnold has to get lowered into the lava is just so amazing. It is, it is you're seeing a hero die, basically. Um, a character that's a robot and you're, you're connected with him. I mean, it's, it's so good. Um, yeah, one of the greatest endings ever. So we're on to my number one. And I think maybe some of you can guess. This ending um, was the most satisfying ending I have ever... I mean, I, I've never felt so satisfied. It, it was... Even though it's not the end of the series, I thought it should have ended it. Man, was it great. And I saw it in the theater, and I everyone was like, yeah! Like, everyone went, <laughs> everyone went crazy. Halloween H2O. The, the whole ending, where Jamie Lee basically fights Michael, she stands her ground against Michael. She takes Michael. She, Michael's unconscious. He's in the uh, the van. The van crashes or whatever. He, Michael gets caught in a tree. Jamie goes over. They have a little conversation. Or she has like a little conversation. And then all of a sudden she chops his head off. And it ends with her being like. <sighs> like she just conquered her fears. The whole, That's the whole message of this movie. Is that she faced her fears. She had nightmares. She was scared. She She... She was take medication. She would drink because of all this. She conquered her fears. That was the whole message, and I loved it. Once she cut his head off, she knew there is no way he's coming back now. But no, in Halloween Resurrection, they ruined it. Oh, Michael! Michael's part of the Mission Impossible crew now because Michael can um, infiltrate the paramedics. Oh. He can get a paramedic and dress him up because he was doing that the whole time. Took a paramedic, crushed his voice box, and then put him in the Michael Myers outfit and Michael just walks off into the bushes. Stupid! They should have just left it alone. This ending was fantastic. That is my number one favorite movie ending. All right, guys. So um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. And um, like I said, this is a response to HorrorFan34, a.k.a. my buddy Thomas. Go check out his channel. And if you want to do a response to this, 
please do so. If you want to listen in the comments, that's fine. Or if you want to do a video response, that's even better. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed my top 10 favorite movie endings. And this is Rob signing off, and I'll be back with more videos.